What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I was in the process of putting my mini brats collection away and sewing some doll clothes when I saw mini Barbie Land figures on Amazon. Next day delivery, yes please. New mini Barbies, as in dolls for dolls? Wait a minute. I've invested a lot into my mini Bratz collection. As of right now, they are totally my favorite. They have lots of great details, so many different figures, and they are perfectly sized for our dolls. But with a suggested retail price of $9.99 for two, I do think that's a little high, and I often wait until I can find them on sale. But then you might end up with a double, and I do have feelings about that. But Mattel does make Polly Pocket. They're no stranger to the minis. Even though they're tiny, they're mighty. Because they have articulation, this figure can move at the shoulder, at the waist, and the legs can move separately. But standing a little over an inch, not including the hair, I do think they're pretty small. So I wouldn't mind a doll that is a little taller. Well, that's too tall. While I do enjoy the price tag of being able to find these at the dollar store and our ability to repaint them to get all those little details, can we get something that looks like a Barbie with the articulation and accessories of Polly Pocket with the height and details of a Mini Bratz? Is Mini Barbie Land the answer? Do Mini Bratz have competition now as my favorite dolls for dolls? Oh yeah, Disney Dorbles. I mean, something that looks like a fashion doll. And my Amazon order just arrived. And it's mini Barbie land. This was $5.99 on Amazon. I can see the figure I'm getting and the accessories. We have paperboard packaging with plastic. There appears to be a color change element with hot and cold water where we can take the light pink car, place it in cold water, and it should turn a darker pink. Yeah, there's a little change. Personally, as an adult doll collector, I can totally live without water play. My doll rooms have a lot of paper, so for me, I would have loved to have seen more painted details on the car. Let's go ahead and open this up. Loving the printed backdrop, by the way. I wish this was packaged so that we didn't have to tear it up. Ah. Uh. Well, some of that might be usable. Here's the car, which we already saw because I had two and I opened one in a short. We have a street sign and a little mailbox. The sign says Barbie Way. I like the little painted detail. And there's a painted Barbie logo on the mailbox. And it is finished all the way around. And here is the little Barbie figure. I'm seeing some articulation. The figure is standing on a small base, which I like. It doesn't take up a lot of room. We do have some articulation at the waist and her face is painted. There are painted details on her clothes. We can see some stitching, a small belt. The figure is painted all the way around with her hands at her side. The mini Barbie is an inch and a half, but if you add the base, then she's a tiny bit over and it can bend at the waist. This looks like a pretty simple joint. And I wonder if we can, oh yeah, we can pull it apart. The figure can go inside the car. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> giant human hands, but there we go. Yay! However, her hands cannot reach the steering wheel since they're stuck to her sides. So we're just gonna say this is one of those uh, self-driving cars. Polly Pocket's arms can move. Just saying. Let's compare the minis. Here's World's Smallest Barbie, Polly Pocket, Mini Barbie Land, Mini Bratz, and Micro Barbie, and Disney Dorables. We can place a Barbie doll in the shot for a little size comparison. I'm totally loving the Mini Barbie Land figure and the Mini Bratz. Oh wow, but in the Barbie's hand, the Mini Barbie is kind of perfect. And we're getting accessories? And you don't have to deal with the whole surprise toy thing if you don't want to. Oh, well, yeah, this does have a little surprise element. 
I paid $9.99 on Amazon for a miniature dollhouse. Through the packaging, I'm seeing some molded details, a toilet, a slide. Looks like we're getting a mini doll, but it's a surprise figure, along with a few accessories. Looks like the elevator can move. On the back, we can see some of the other features. Nice backdrop. The house is three inches wide and about five and a half inches long, and a little under four and a half inches tall. I think it looks great with our one six scale Barbies. So yes, there are lots of sculpted details on the back. There's a closet with the baseball cap, a little star purse. We can see clothes hanging up. You could probably paint this if you wanted to, to really bring out some of those details. I'm seeing toiletries in the bathroom. We got a mirror, a window, a plant. On the floor, there's little spaces for the doll's feet. I think this is a shower. Does it open? Oh, <gasps> it does. Here's a silver acrylic marker. Let's paint some of those little details. Can we do this? I think we can. Yes, we can. I even painted the faucet in the kitchen. Yeah, so have fun with that. We have two beds on the side. There's a couch and a TV downstairs, a kitchen area. This door opens. The elevator does go up and down and it stays. One side is pink. The back is blue with more sculpted details. It's pink on the other side. It comes with an orange swing chair that we can add and it actually swings. We get a pink Barbie pool and a slide that has multiple places where it can be attached. I do like options. Here's a mystery box that should have our mini Barbie doll. There she is. And it is the doll wearing the red dress from the packaging. She's wearing red shoes, has a red stand, and a gold necklace. And just like the other figure, she can bend at the waist. If we place her in the floor, she is secure in the dollhouse. I just wanted to see if I could paint more stuff. Yeah, we can! Because there are a lot of little details molded into the background. For me, with the markers that I'm using, the small line work is very easy to paint. However, I'm having a little bit of difficulty keeping it smooth on the larger areas. It's pretty easy to scratch off if you make a mistake. So I just cut a little foil tape and added it to the room. And it is possible to pull some things apart to make it easier to reach. Most of the pieces are held in place with these little snap-in brackets. Keep in mind, there is a chance you could possibly break apart and destroy your house. You have been warned. But oh my goodness, I love bringing out these little details. Then we just have to add our doll and it's totally coming together. Now let's see the other items in the box. Looks like a tree trunk and a tiny turtle. Okay, so this must be her pet. However, next to the doll, it's not so tiny. On the packaging, they show us the doll with the red dress, which is the one we got. But down here, they show the doll as a mystery. So do we get the doll in the red dress every time? Because we do see that there are different pets. This one looks like a dog. So I got a second one. So we can see if we get different things. Okay, I got the same doll and we got a turtle again. Oh, but check that out. We can put dolls in the chair. However, when I try to use the one that came with the house, she doesn't want to stay in there. But keep in mind, that could be my fault and I could be doing something wrong. But she can go down the slide and almost into the pool. She can go in the elevator and go up to the second floor and stand in the doorway. I like all the little hearts. They are totally helping to keep everything from falling over. I picked up a different house. I saw three designs. I was able to get two of the three. This one was also $9.99 on Amazon. However, this house is thinner than the last one we showed, being a little under two and a half inches wide. It's almost six and a half inches long and stands about four and a quarter inches tall. But the slide does hang over in the back a little, so keep that in mind if you plan on putting this on a short shelf. I want to say this is inspired by the 2020 Barbie Dream House. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. And I think this one was 2022. Ah, I don't know. 
But there's a garage area with a sculpted scooter. We have some double doors here. Do they open? They do. There's a kitchen with sculpted details. We have stairs, an elevator. On the second floor, we have a bathroom. There's a little pink toilet, a pool, and a slide. And there's a space for the dolls to stand on the very top. We also get a yellow bed that is removable. I like the idea of tiny furniture that we can move around. There are little spaces in the floor where it can fit so it can stay. I would have loved to have seen the couch in the first house have that option too. On the back of the house, we can see more sculpted details. I like the little tree. And the small gardening area. Can the car fit in the driveway? Yes, it can. Here's the mystery box. However, I don't think it's really a mystery because we already know which doll it is. Yep, it's the same one that was on the front. Wearing a pink and purple dress. And the pet is a little yellow bird. Does it always come with a bird? Because with the first one, that could have just been a double. Let's test the theory. We have a second house, second mystery box with the same doll. And is it the same pet? <gasps> no, we got a different pet. This time it's a rabbit. So there is a little surprise element and with the turtles, they were just doubles. I picked up the plane for $5.99. It's pink, purple, and white. It has wheels that spin. The top can open and so can the side. Looks like we have seating for two. Here's the included mini Barbie. I like the little painted necklace. She can sit in the back of the plane or be the pilot. There's a mini Barbie Land boat for $5.99. It also has some color change elements. Oh yeah, and the plane did too. The boat has printed details on the side. Looks like we're getting seating on top and they might be able to go inside the boat. It comes with a yellow slide, a heart-shaped pool, and a mini Barbie in a swimsuit. You can see a printed design on the swimsuit and the pattern goes all the way around. Can she go inside? Well, she's too tall to stand, but the doll can kind of sit, but I think she fits a little better on the top of the boat and she can fit in the pool in the dream house. Also at $5.99, here is the mini Barbie Land Jeep with color change. And we're getting Barbie herself with this one, wearing a blue top, pink and blue tie-dye shorts, and white sneakers with pink laces. Her shorts are finished all the way around. We get a Jeep with a blue windshield, pink seats, and a painted silver grill. I like that. We also get a blue tent with printed details, a little canopy and some faux lights on the side, and the tent is open on the other side. So we can place the doll in the tent. I kind of love this. We're getting the Barbies that we see today in miniature with lots of accessories, some articulation, and we can customize stuff if we want. I do like that not everything is a surprise toy. We can get some of the items that we want. However, there are some mystery figure elements and there are many figures that come in small capsules. This one is shaped like lipstick. There's a Barbie pop reveal and color reveal that come in little tubes that are mystery figures. And I saw them on shopmattel.com for $2.99. As soon as they become available in my area, I am totally going to get them along with the third dream house because I think these make great dolls for dolls. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time